Welcome to Practice Better. In this tutorial, I will show you how to be more effective and efficient in your practice by creating your forms and waivers in Practice Better. Forms are used to collect information from your clients as well as get signatures for any policies or waivers you want your clients to sign. To navigate to your forms and waivers, go to My Practice and select Forms and Waivers. The red fast action button in the bottom right hand corner can be used to add new forms. When you click on this, you will see a few different options and ways you can create forms. The option to create form allows you to build a form from scratch using the Practice Better Form Builder. Clients can easily and seamlessly fill out these forms online within the platform or during the booking process. The option to create waiver works the same as the previous option although it will include a signature component by default, requiring the client to sign off. This is useful for forms such as privacy or cancellation policies. The option to upload form or worksheet allows you to upload an existing PDF file from your computer's hard drive to be used as a form. These forms cannot be completed within the platform and will need to be downloaded by the client to work on and uploaded for submission. The option to create from template will allow you to download from a number of pre-built form templates. Here's an example of the available templates on Practice Better. Once downloaded, these forms can be edited to suit your specific needs. This will be a time saver since you won't need to build a form from scratch. Let's take a look at a form already created. To add components to this form, use the toolbar on the right hand side. You can hover over the different components to identify the one you're wishing to use. There are multiple different components and question types that you can add to customize the form to your needs. To add a question, select the icon and drag it to the gray line. The gray line indicates where the new question will go. Alternatively, if you select the icon, the component will be added to the bottom of the form by default. If a component is already added, hover over the question. This will allow you to easily edit, duplicate, and delete the question. Signatures can be added to the end of your form or waiver. You can add up to three signatures, your own and up to two clients. This is helpful if you need a parent or guardian signature for your client. If you scroll to the top of your edit form page, you'll see the option of creating a conditional flow. Here's one already created. This specific conditional flow is for the personal information question. When a client selects the following options, including female, it will show the following questions to them. Conditional flows are great options for those practitioners that have questions only applicable to specific clients. For example, if you have different intake questions for men and women, instead of creating two separate forms, you can trigger specific questions to appear when triggered. Going back to the form builder, if you are utilizing yes or no questions, you also have the ability to create a follow-up question when your client selects either yes or no. This is another type of conditional flow. If you scroll back up to the top of your edit form page, you'll see the option of creating totals and averages. You can set up grand totals and averages known as aggregates based on numeric questions in your forms. You will need at least one grid, numeric, or scale question in your form to set this up. Under the Additional Options tab, here you can add a redirect URL. When your client completes the form, they will be redirected to the link you add here. For example, you can redirect your clients to a thank you page or back to your booking page to display your offerings. Once you're done editing and creating your form, select Save. If you click the three dots beside your saved form, you will see different options. You have the ability to preview your form once you have finished building it to see the form from a client's perspective. If you select complete for client option, this allows you to fill out the form on behalf of your client. 
This is helpful if your client is experiencing issues accessing the form or they're with you in person and you're filling out the form together. The share link option gives you a public link to your form. This is helpful if you want to link your form on your website. If a prospective client fills out the form, they'll be added to your platform as a prospective client. This is a great option if you want an application process or a screening before working with new clients. Optionally, if you use the Create Widget option, you can create a widget of your form to embed on your website. Lastly, if you want to share your form with another practitioner, you can do so by selecting Manage Sharing. This allows you to share a form within your team or with another practitioner on Practice Better. You can give them this code, which will allow them to upload this form onto their Practice Better account. They can do so by clicking the Red Fast Action button, selecting Create from Template, click on the Unlock Template option, and input the code that you have given them here. This will unlock the form for them. This concludes this form tutorial. We hope you found this helpful. Please check out our Help Center for more information and resources.